Hey guys, long time no see. I am sorry. Um, it's been chaotic to say the least. Very chaotic. The, our house has become full of people. Before it was just me and Frank, and now it's me and Frank and my brother and his wife and their animals and then my animals. You know how I used to do my videos is I'd get up in the morning, take a shower, and I can run around the house naked, no problem, and I jump in the scale, videotape the scale, and go on forth to do my video. But my brother works overnight, so he's home in the day, and my sister-in-law works some days. So it's like there's so many times where I would attempt to make a video and somebody would come out of the room or somebody would come home or they'd be leaving or the dog would bark or such and such. It's just It was just chaotic. So I figured I have to get some videos done here, so I'm going to do it in my car for the meantime. Um, but an update, I am down to 203 pounds. I started at 251 in October and now I'm down to 203. You know what that means. That is so close to being in the hundreds. It's ridiculous how close it is. And then, and then I can fit into a size 16. I was a size 24. I'm now in a 16. Oh, it's phenomenal. Um, so my last video, I think I mentioned not maybe the last couple of videos that I left my last job and I'm looking for new jobs. Um, because I was supposed to be moving to Tennessee a couple weeks ago, but one of my cats is um, deathly ill and I'm waiting for him to pass. I can't leave him, so I'm waiting for him to pass before I move forward to Tennessee. But um, in the meantime, I have to find a job because money doesn't grow from trees. So I've been doing some dog walking, which has been great because I've been getting some exercise in, so that's fun. Plus, I mean, it's dog walking, I love it. And um, and I have an interview at another vet's office doing reception. I had one today, and I have a follow-up, like a shadowing, um, working interview, is what they call it, on Friday. So we'll see how that goes, but that's got all the benefits and stuff. So um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be now before I move, because my cat, he um, he has this issue. It's called cystadenoma. It's that um, tumor... It's a non-cancerous tumor inside of his abdomen that's growing with fluid and it grows into his organs. However, um, he the tumor has grown quite big. I've had it drain twice. However, the organ growing isn't doesn't seem to be affecting him as far as eating, drinking, being uncomfortable. What it's causing discomfort in is his back legs. Um, so he has trouble like making jumps and standing straight, but his appetite's still there. Everything about him is still there except for his legs. So I've made the decision to have his tumor drained again. Um, if it was the kind of tumor where, where if it was growing to a point where it was causing him just, you know, quality of life was bad where he couldn't eat, he wasn't drinking, he couldn't walk or that kind of stuff, that'd be a different story. But if all it is is pressing against his muscles on his leg, causing him to have issues walking, but he's still eating and drinking and, and walking around and cuddling, I mean, that doesn't seem like it's, it's time for him to go yet. So um, Thursday, he's getting drained again. So hopefully it'll give him some more comfort for a while. We'll go from there. Um, I'm in no rush to get rid of my cat, but I've had to put the animals down before. So I know when it's time, but I just don't feel like it's time yet. So that is what it is. But when he is gone, um, then I'll be reevaluating re how to get to Tennessee. This is a great cold keto drink. I think I had this in my last videos too. My last video. So it's no cane sugar, sugar free vanilla, like three or four pumps. And then um, a splash of heavy whipping cream. Mm. In the winter, I've been getting a chai tea latte, but no chai syrup, just the tea bags. And then I get in there like two ounces of heavy whipping cream and like four splashes of sugar-free vanilla. I'm sorry, sugar-free cinnamon dolce. And then put maybe, it's up to you how if you want to add sweetener to it. Sometimes, I don't know if they make it differently, but one time I had it, it didn't need sweetener. And the next time I had it, it needed sweetener. So I guess that's your call. But those are my 
two go-to drinks, you know, one in the winter, one in the, in the warmer weathers. It's not summer, but it is spring. It's just so exciting. Spring was the 20th, which is five days ago, so it's officially spring. And today it's 44 degrees outside. It's not very warm, but the sun's out, so it makes it look and feel better than it did the last couple of days when it was kind of rainy and gloomy. So I'm doing pretty good. So I haven't been able to show you the scale. Not that that's a big deal, but so an update, it is 203 pounds. So yay. And you can tell when you're in ketosis, like you don't even need to, I mean, people do the blood sticks, people do the pee sticks, but you don't need that. You can feel it because when you're deep in ketosis, you don't feel that hungry. You don't crave anything. It's just, it's so easy to exist. It's such an easy thing. Um, and so I've been doing more walking with work and then I joined the gym. So me and Frank, uh, we went last week. Me and Frank both went last week and I had a really good workout. I was pretty, I was pretty amazed by the energy level I had. Um, however, then me and Frank both got sick. You can tell I still got a little chesty cold here going on here. But now I'm starting to get better and so is he, I hope. So um, this week we're gonna get back to the gym and start doing our thing and just living life. And um, I think, I, did I already say that I'm down to a 16? I guess I'm pretty excited about that because today is the day I found out because when I had the interview this morning, I was I had a pair of gray dress pants that I haven't been able to wear an E on. So I tried them on, they were a 16 and they fit beautifully. The only thing is, is that I don't know what happened, um, maybe before I didn't care, but they're really long. So I'm trying to wonder if I remember if I ever worn them before, if I just had them. Because they were long on me, so I couldn't wear them because they went way past my feet. So I had to find a different pair of pants, but the fact that I know that I fit in a 16 is... <sighs> NSV, baby, NSV, non-scale victory. I'm pretty excited. So I have, um, I had five dog walks today. I got one more in the evening, and then I got to pick Frank up, and then um, today for breakfast, because I took myself out to breakfast this morning, I went to a restaurant, I got myself a egg scrambler with bacon, and spinach, and mozzarella cheese, and a couple of raspberries, so that was my breakfast, and some hot, hot tea. And then, and that was it until I had my coffee now. So, that's it. Oh, I'm keeping it simple. Um, I love the Quest bars. I love Quest chips. I love all that stuff. I did do Quest chips, um, which is pretty exciting, actually. I was excited to do this. I went to the movie with my cousins, cousins, and, um, and I got a salad. But before we went to the movies, we went to the mall, and because the mall is connected to the movie theater so I went to the GNC in the mall and I got some like movie snacks and I got the quest ranch chips and they're surprisingly good I would like put pieces of the salad on there and eat it like a taco salad um, but it was just felt good to have that crunch again and that can't be a regular thing of course it can't be a regular thing but it was it was pretty good I was pretty excited I haven't tried the other ones yet but so I've just tried the the ranch ones those are pretty good and then the Quest Bars, I've had a multitude of different flavors, but my favorite ones for, for sure is apple pie, which you can't find at like Walgreens and CVS's. You actually have to go to like a GNC store, order it online, I think. Um, but apple pie is really good. It, to me, it tastes like that apple cinnamon oatmeal, Quaker Oats oatmeal you'd get, which I always love those. Birthday cake, of course, is popular. Um, the blueberry muffins okay I mean I can it's okay and then also maybe my next favorite before the blueberry muffin is the the mint chocolate that one's pretty good too so I mean there's so many varieties of things you can do I would stay away from if you're if you're on keto I mean you guys could be doing everything you want to do but if you're on keto I would stay away from um, Atkins bars because they have that maltitol I believe it's called maltitol and that can spike your blood sugar which you want to avoid when you're on keto but Quest doesn't do that for most people. Some people are sensitive, but most people, um, Quest does not affect your blood sugar. It's good ingredients, and it's, it fills you up, and it kind of it's good to have around in those times where you just need a little snack if you're going to be in a car for a long time, or you're you know you're 
have a long time to go between one meal and the next, you know, it's good to have that as a snack, as a backup. Because you can't really eat fruit like you used to. You can't have an apple or banana in your purse anymore, so you got to find other ways to take care of that. Um, so, but things are going well. I'm pretty excited. Um, so, new jobs on the horizon. Going to get money coming back in. And I have been going hardcore into oils. Um, because since I've lost this weight, which is two pounds away from being 50 pounds. Since I've lost this weight, I am on zero medications. My asthma's gone away. Um, nothing's, nothing's wrong. So because of that, um, I've been diving into the oils, um, Young Living, and I've gotten my consultant ship back um, so I can sell Young Living oils. And because I'm on no medication, for the first time, I can be natural, free, and start from scratch. So everything I put in me from now on is just, it's like a blank slate. So I've been using oils for everything. I've been using um, citrus oils in the morning with my water. I've been using um, lavender on my arms and skin. I think I mentioned before the um, videos on my skin. I should measure that now and see how that is. Um, I've been using lavender and frankincense on my face. Um, I've been, I mean, there's so many oils. I've been using tea trees. Um, I have energy. It's called E-N-R-G-E, -E, energy. And I have that in the shower and I pour a couple drops on the corner of the mat. Um, so it kind of like, kind of get like a steam bath, you know, like taking a shower of that, of the energy oil. It just kind of invigorates you. It's, oh, it's, it's, I love it. And, um, joy, I carry joy. Um, I usually have in my car, do I have in my car with me? Yeah, I do. Cause I have it to go, to go oil kit. So these are my oils. I might as well show it to you. Sorry about the camera thing. There's really no good place in my car to prop my camera up, my phone up. So this is what we got. So you're going to see all awkward angles of me until I figure this out. All right, we're going to switch. Okay, see all these? These are what I carry with me wherever I go. So we over here is abundance. Now what I do with abundance is I take a smear, I put it in the back seat of my headrest, I put a smear in my wallet, and I put a smear in my purse. And if I'm doing door dashing, which is like a part-time gig where I deliver food to people, I put a smear on the bag as well. My next one is joy. I need to, I need to get a roller for that, but for joy you put on your heart. And it, it's, it's, it is that when you put joy on your heart, you literally feel joy. The smell is so, it's magical, it really is. Um, the next one is motivation, which I lack a lot of times. So I put some behind my ears before I leave the house to kind of keep me going. And I have it with me in case I need some more of it. Peppermint oil, that's vitality, so I can either ingest it or I can put it up on my joints if I'm aching in my head, if I have a headache, which I've done. Um, you, can, you could bake with it. You can put it in, I've made brownies with it before. It's fantastic. And the last one is Palo Santos. That one is like, um, it's like a meditation oil. So if you just need to relax and wind down, that's what you use. And then I also have over here my coconut oil. See right there? So that's my carrier oil to put on my skin for some of the oils that could be a little tougher, you know, stronger. Because this is, this is straight from seed to seal, so there's no processing. It's pure oils. So some of them, if you're sensitive skin, you may have to put some carry your oil on before you put the oil on. So and this stuff has been my best friend. As a matter of fact, I think I need some joy right now. I'm gonna put some on me. So yeah, my, this, this got a little sidetracked, but you know, when you, when you start feeling better about yourself and just doing more things positive, you want to keep going in a positive way. I put it on my finger, you put it on your heart, your joy. Now you're supposed to have a roll on, you're not supposed to, be, you're not supposed to put your finger on it but I don't have a roller for it right now. And that's my oil, so I can do whatever I want with it, right? All right. So, I guess that's it. Um, my voice is still a little horsey. It's okay, it's getting better. There was a day um, where I had like no voice at all, I couldn't even talk. Which is tough because that day, for some reason, I had to talk. <laughs> um, but, now, I can't talk, but I sound a little, a little rugged. 
All right, so 48 pounds down from October to March, almost April. And my face, it does look, I, you know, it's hard for me to notice the difference because when I look at myself in the camera, um, I don't see it that much. Um, I, you know, cause then, let me explain this. So if I'm looking right now at the camera, watching me looking at the camera, you know, I, I pay attention to what I see, but then when I look back at it, all I see is chin and cheeks, you know? It's ridiculous, but my mom, she hasn't seen me um, in months, and she's coming out here in April, because um, my grandmother is uh, turning 89, having a party for her, so she's coming out here in April, so she hasn't seen me since I lost maybe, I think last time she saw me, I lost maybe 15 pounds, so she hasn't seen me with this extra weight loss, so she's going to be pretty excited, and then my whole family, actually, who I see, we're having the party for my grandmother in May. Um, my whole family hasn't seen me like this either, so they're all going to be surprised when they see me 50 pounds lighter. Well, by, by May, my, my mom's coming out in, in I'm, I'm jabbling, I'm sorry. My mom's coming out in April for a week, and then she's coming back out in May. But in April, she'll see me for the first time. And then May, when we have to, the family get together, my whole family's going to see me for the first time in a long time. So by then, too, I will have lost a lot more weight, so... I have a size 14 jeans at home that I really want to get into. They go up to about the top of my thigh. And they still haven't, they still can't go past my hips. So um, once I get past my hips and then in my and buttoned up, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. But 16 right now, I'm so happy with compared to 24. Good Lord. Gosh, I'm so happy to be where I am now. And there is, there's, it's such an, um, you have to almost like submit to this because there's no escaping. You have to understand, or well, I have to understand, that when I get to my goal weight, that doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean, oh, I can go eat what I want. Oh, you know, I got the body I want. Now I can just go do whatever. I got to do this forever, forever because of my metabolism, because of my mindset and the way I um, associate food with emotions. I can't ever stop this. So I think maybe I, once I get to my um, maintenance, I can maybe raise my carbs. Because right now I do 25 carbs a day. Sometimes I don't even get to that. But if I raise my carbs to maybe 35 or 40, um, so I'm still in ketosis, so I can just raise it a little bit so I'm not losing more, but I can maintain. So I just got to figure out how to work that in. But I still have a while before I do that because a long while. Because I'm at 203. My goal weight is like 140, so so I'm maybe 40 percent there. Is that right? Yeah, 45. But either way, I'm on the I'm on the journey, and if I look back to where I began, it's far away now. So I'm almost halfway there, and that's so exciting. So this is the fun part, you know, when the pants get smaller and energy increases energy is something I'm always suffering with always even now even now um, but I like when I went to the gym you know I felt like I had more energy now because of the weight loss and then when you we went to vacation and we did all the walking I feel like I had more energy because of my weight loss so I feel just not carrying around that excess weight is easier to make myself move and motivate when I have to but energy has always been an issue for me because I don't sleep well. Because I'm sleeping next to a snoring dump truck picking up rocks. <laughs> he's the loudest snorer in existence. He, sh he should be in a sleep apnea machine, but he's not. He won't go see a doctor. But his snoring is so loud and I, I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in six years since I've been with him. The only time I get a good night's sleep is when I'm not with him overnight somewhere. <laughs> that first night, I'm out. I... I sleep so good. I used to have one of those, um, those, um, Fitbits and it would m monitor my sleep. And when I would sleep away from him, it was like solid blue, consistent sleep. But when I sleep with him, it's up and down, up and down. So yeah, that's, uh, that's tough. But I did take, um, an overnight dog sitting position. So, well, pet sitting position. So I'll be getting paid 
to sleep at people's houses to keep an eye over their animals. So maybe I, I can get a good night's sleep and get paid and get animal loves at the same time. It sounds like it's trifecta there. All right, guys. So it is Monday, March 25th. And it's been, a, I think it's been a month since I posted my last video. So 203 is where I'm at. And next week, I hope to be in the 199s. We'll see, but I'm not going to push it. I'll be happy just to be at 202 or 201. So that is it for now, TTFN. Have a great week. And if you guys are um, in the Midwest like I am, hopefully it's sunny and warm. But if you guys are someplace that's always warm, then enjoy. Jealous. You guys take care, okay?